Hello, Sens fans. My name is Jordan Mady, and SFT returns. Mike Hoffman took the Senators' goal lead as he scored his 11th of the season in the first period. No cobwebs to be seen on Ottawa, though the Red Wings did tie the game late, 1-1 after 20. Clark MacArthur hadn't scored in more than three weeks until tonight. He plots his 10th in the second. Some great penalty killing and puck movement have Ottawa up 2-1 on the Detroit Red Wings after 40 minutes. Henrik Zetterberg finally broke Ottawa's penalty kill in the third with an absolute howitzer. We're going to overtime. Carlson breakaway. Deeks himself out and misses the net. Oh my. Savage and over. No. Oh, Anderson, two pad stack. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. Gust of Nyquist does two laps around the send zone, walks into the slot, and scores. 3 2 Detroit wins. Credit to Nyquist for that sweet shot, but it is absolutely not okay that he gets 28 seconds with the puck in the Ottawa zone in overtime. In Sportsnet's preamble to tonight's broadcast, the narrator mentioned that the Ottawa Senators were trying to get back to the promise they showed two years ago. That's like saying, let's be that team that wins a bunch of games they have no business being in. Let's be pesky. How about they try to get back to the team that went to the 2007 Stanley Cup Finals, the one that had the tools to get ahead and stay there. I realize this requires personnel changes and additions, things this team does currently with great caution. You see, there's two types of teams in this league. Some are married to playoff spots from the beginning of the season, and the others are left chasing them. On the other hand, some say the chase is fun, and that with the chase comes a sense of risk of hope. But can the chase last forever? Is the chase really that promising? That's it for this SFT. Welcome back. My name is Jordan Mady for Hooked on Hockey Magazine. Stay right, Sense fans.